Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome to El Smart Investor Channel. So today I want to do a quick update on our Golden Nugget online gaming stock. So last week I did share with you guys a very bullish article that mentioned the firm Jeffries giving a price target to GNUG of $28. Well, guess what? It seems this analyst wanted to make sure we get the message. So he came with another article yet this week with not $28 as a price target, but a new number that you will definitely need to hear this out. So definitely stick around until the end as I'll be breaking down the news. We'll do a technical chart analysis and I'll cover my buying strategy as usual. So for those new to the channel, I'm a corporate professional stock investor, real estate investor, and a passionate gamer. So all I ask in return, guys, is to please smash that like button subscribe and hit that bell notification to not miss any of my videos guys this truly helps the channel so thank you so much for taking the time to hit all those buttons right here below in the video before moving on if you trade in any different currencies like USD or to Canadians like I do and you'd love to save tons of money when exchanging those dollars then use my personal link below to start saving money right now and getting some cool perks in return so now let's get back to business all right guys so listen to this the article actually came this week. Jeffries reiterates the buy rating on GNUG. He also mentions here the analyst David Katz that the model business has been proven in New Jersey and that he believes this will be a multiplier factor in the future and the returns should be very high. Now the part that is juicy and you'd like to hear is the firm has a price target of $28 that we already know, right? But here's the thing, Jeffries bull case price target on GNOG is $45 guys. So that is more than 3x from the current prices. So that is just amazing. And although this may be very high, I do not mind that there are price targets there in bullish cases that firms or analysts are given because the more that these people give it, the more investors might be attracted to this, right? So at the end of the day, guys, we already know that this is a good company quality, a nice steady growth. It's not the most high growth, but definitely steady, guys. And this is a reassurance for me. Now the price target, let's look into that. All right, guys, so Gina currently sitting on the last trading day at $15.57 and $16 pre-market so that's plus three percent almost now here are here's the thing guys okay last time we did analyze the whole charts what I want to look today here is very important okay as you can see the stock did have a nice bull run here up the way up to the $17 and as you know we did cover this it was gonna be a resistance as you saw here right because it's been rejected in the past or it's been a support or a resistance in the past clearly now it's a resistance as you can see look at this Immediately as it touched the $17.40, it sold off all the way down here to $14.78. Now the thing, we can see here that it's going up a little bit here and it's trying to consolidate. That's what I'm hoping for. And if you remember correctly, I said once this goes up very drastically, it's going to sell off. I believe it's going to sell off from one of these resistance level, which it did. And now the next thing that we we're hoping for, for the long-term investors such as you and I, is for this to consolidate once it's sold off, right? So we're hoping that this $15.11 will be the support level, okay guys? So that's what I'm gonna be very attentive. And as you can see here, it did help us as a support. As you can see here, it's trying to consolidate between this price at $15.14 and the $16.56, okay? So maybe today, I'm hoping that this will be challenged at $16.56. It's okay if it doesn't break through and it still consolidates in between these two boxes. That will be a good sign, guys, because then it will build up momentum for this to actually break through this level and start making a bullish run above the $70.54 so we can break it as opposed to the previous days here, which it sold off. And then once we break this, guys, then we build a momentum. And this is going to be the most interesting part because we sold off aggressively back here a couple of weeks ago, as you know. So that's why the consolidation part is so crucial, guys. So we build up lots of investors and buyers and then we can start making new highs here okay guys so this will be extremely important so right now at this price I'm not buying guys because there's also a bearish scenario that could occur unfortunately and as you know I'm a big buyer of golden nugget I've bought it in the dips here in the past to average cost down and so I'm happy about my average cost at this point but I still would take the opportunity if it went to the $13 level again or the $12 then definitely this is a buy zone as I've said in my different videos 
videos for me personally. So to recap guys, this is what I'm expecting. It's a consolidation before we burst out, but that's the bullish scenario for me. The bearish side is if this dips down to $13 level, $12 level again, this will be a buy zone for me. I will just reload guys because it's a no brainer at this point for me. Online gaming will be growing drastically in the next years. It will continue to get legalized state by state because they need massive monies, the governments to pay off the debt, the trillions of dollars that they're injecting into the society. And Golden Nugget is well placed as they are a profitable business. So I think that attracts investors. And I believe that they will continue to do well as well with the partnerships they've done in different states that are getting legalized without forgetting that there are analysts that are bullish on this so i'm liking a lot the picture here guys i'm not gonna buy at these price currently but i will definitely buy if it dips like i said in the 13 and 12 dollars range again but that is my personal play because I've already invested massive money into this company. So I, I will only buy on the dips. So listen, those are my thoughts right now for GNOC. I am bullish for the long term. There's no questions asked. I will not sell this in the short term. No way, Jose, guys. So let me know what you think. Are you still in GNOC? Are you as bullish as I am? Or are you thinking that this will dip into the $13? And if it does... Will you be a buyer? Let me know in the comments below, guys. And on that note, guys, I would truly appreciate it if you could smash that like button. It really tremendously helps the channel. And I'd love to see the, this community grow a lot more. Don't forget to hit that notification bell to not miss my next videos. And on that note, I'm going to wish you an amazing day. And I'll see you next time. Peace out.